Eating ass is on the rise. Men on women, women on men, men on men, you get the point. People like analingus, okay? And I know some of you might be thinking that it's only for queer or gay people, but surveys show that 30% of heterosexual couples are also having analingus. But new studies have found that it could be more dangerous than you think, and even causing diseases that people are getting without even realizing they're getting it from tossing the salad. So what is going on with rimming science? To understand the risks of eating the booty like groceries, you must first understand the bacteria Shigella. Shigella causes the disease Shigellosis, which affects 188 million people per year with symptoms including diarrhea, headache, upset stomach, bloating, and tenesmus, which is a fancy term for needing to go to the bathroom, but when you get there, nothing happens. You get shigellosis when you consume the bacteria shigella through your mouth. Commonly, you get this when someone's preparing food for you and they have shigella on their hands. Maybe they aren't washing their hands properly. The bacteria ends up on your food. You consume the bacteria in your food and you get sick. This is also called food poisoning. The thing about these shigella bacteria is that you don't need to consume very many of them to get sick. In fact, only between 5 to 200 of these tiny microbes entering your GI tract can cause you to suffer. The reason for Shigella's small infection dose is that the Shigella microbes actually survive your acidic stomach and also have sneaky biochemicals that downregulate your body's natural antibacterial proteins. This means these tiny bacteria can get to your large and small intestine where they cause cell injury, invade your colonic mucosa, create inflammation, and cause epithelial damage that leads to tons of diarrhea. They also impair your absorption of nutrients and water, making you feel really sick. How does this relate to eating butt? Well, studies have found that gay men, Exhibit A, like me, we were actually getting food poisoning at higher rates than the rest of society. This caused researchers to hone in on other outbreaks of shigellosis that were appearing in the communities of men who have sex with men. It was happening often enough in the last 20 years, they found, that they concluded many of these men may not have gotten sick from contaminants contaminated food, but actually we're getting sick from eating ass. In the global south, most Shigella spread is from poor sanitation infrastructure, but in the US and Europe, most Shigella is spread from fecal oral transmission, either from touching dirty bathroom services, drinking dirty pool water, from dirty poopy kids spreading it at daycares, or now we realize from eating booty. It was a series of Shigella outbreaks among men who have sex with men in Seattle, San Francisco, London, and a major study in Denmark that led researchers to the conclusion that people might be getting sick from eating the booty hole of others who had Shigella in their GI tract. One of the initial studies in the year 2000 from the time frame of June to December studied 230 cases of Shigellosis in which 73% of patients had recently eaten ass. In Denmark, of the 25,215 respondents, 4,266 were men who had sex with men, and it was found they were more likely to get food poisoning from Shigella, but also another microbe called Campylobacter. Campylobacter is a bacteria that spreads in undercooked meat and poultry, but also can spread from eating the ass of someone who is infected with that bacteria. And the reason that eating ass may be spreading these bacteria without you knowing it makes sense. Because Shigella and Campylobacter bacteria can stay in your fecal matter for up to two weeks after your last symptoms have shown. So if you consume either of these bacteria, the symptoms appear within one to two days, and most of the time your body fights off the infection in five to seven days. But again, even after you feel better for two weeks, you can still transfer that bacteria to someone else. This is why it can spread without people realizing they're spreading it. Of course, there are many other microbes that can spread through rimming. Bacteria like E. coli, viruses like hepatitis A, and even some parasites. In fact, there is even a small risk of some STI transmission, though that risk is much higher in vaginal or anal sex compared to oral. But the Shigella outbreaks are most common in what helped researchers catch this phenomenon in the queer community. So as of late, doctors, researchers do agree that rimming can cause the spread of bacteria that makes you feel sick, similar to that of food poisoning, but that doesn't mean you have to stop doing the act of going down on someone from behind. It's about being aware. Prevention is pretty simple. Wash your hands, genitals, and anus with soap before partaking in rimming. Doctors describe washing your perianal, in and around the anus, and perineal region, the area between the anus and the scrotum or labia magna, well before partaking in eating booty. While having sex, try to be aware of how you move between anal, vaginal, and oral sex to not spread the bacteria. For example, E. coli picked up from rimming could be spread to the urethra and cause a UTI. 
You can always use latex barriers to be more efficient and safe too. Most importantly, if you've had food poisoning, don't engage in rimming for at least two weeks after your last set of symptoms. You probably also want to make sure whoever's butt you're going down on is clean and they're healthy and not suffering from any potential bacterial infection. Shigellosis is mostly treated without medication. Your body will eventually fight it off, but for people who are immunocompromised or if you're noticing that the symptoms are not going away after a while, definitely talk to a doctor and they may prescribe you a course of antibiotics. Thank you for watching this rimming science video. I hope you've made it to the end. Make sure you subscribe and like. Do people even say that anymore? Spread this video with your friends like the Shigella bacteria. Maybe they need to understand the science. And we'll see you soon for a new science video. I said peace.